Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that we're going to talk about tonight to send you into your weekend right is I'm going to show you the sheer panic coming from the media around this 18 to 20 year old restriction being struck down by a court in Virginia. This is something that we covered last night. This is a really big deal because on this channel, I will always tell you when the media organizes and orchestrates in the same direction and they do a full court press, there's something to see because there's smoke and we're going to look at that fire. Everything is going to be linked in the description box below. And if you want to see a video or excuse me, an article that shows you how worried they are about gun control failing, check that one out. And if you are new or you're a returning viewer, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, and making sure you turn the notification bell on. We need as many people as we can to get into the fold with us to spread positive news around the Second Amendment of how we are going to pass the Second Amendment on to the next generation. And thank you so much in advance for your consideration. And the content tonight is brought to you by SDI. Now, I know a lot of you out there like to upgrade and modify your own guns. And if you're looking to turn a hobby that you love into a career, Sonoran Desert Institute can help. Their online programs cover everything from ballistics to gunsmithing, woodworking and finish, shooting sports management and more, plus all the tools and materials are shipped directly to your door. There's never been a better time to turn that hobby into a career, so what are you waiting for? There's a link in the description box below, and now, thank you to SDI for sponsoring this week, but let's get it. Here we go. What to know about judges ruling on age limit for young buyers? Again, keep in mind something that we always focus on this channel. They will always tell you what they're afraid of. And when the media and the Democrats align in the exact same direction, using the same verbiage, and the sky is falling all of a sudden, they're worried about something. Check this out. It's been a mainstay on this channel. Richmond, Virginia, AP. A U.S. judge ruling striking down a federal law that bans licensed federal firearms dealers from selling handguns to young adults under 21 is the latest example of how a landmark Supreme Court decision is transforming the legal landscape around firearms. Transforming the legal landscape around firearms. There's already been 30 plus decisions that have struck down existing gun control based on the Bruin decision, which is what they're talking about. And if you're not familiar with the Bruin decision, we've done lots of videos on it in the history of this channel. Check it out because this is what this entire thing is built on, right? The ruling issued Wednesday by a federal judge in Virginia is just the beginning of what's likely to be a lengthy court battle over rules aimed at making it harder for 18 to 20 year olds to get handguns. If you do not see that video, it's exactly what it is. A judge said that 18 to 20 year olds cannot be discriminated against for their uh, Second Amendment rights because they're 18 to 20. The left, the gun control side of the argument, which we're about to cover, is basically saying, well, they're historically more impulsive, so they don't have their rights. Well, if they're historically more impulsive and they don't make good decisions based off of bad advice, does that mean they can't vote? Because one of the main demographics for the Democratic Party and the vote count is the 18 to 20 year old bucket. Just saying. Anyway, let's keep going because this stuff is so crucial for our rights. U.S. District Court Judge Robert Payne in Richmond said the government failed to prove that restrictions on the purchase of firearms 18 to 20 year olds is, quote, part of the nation's history and tradition. The former President George W. Bush, H. W. Bush appointee said the government didn't present any evidence of such restrictions from the colonial era, founding, or early republic. That's because it doesn't exist. And that's the whole point. That's why the gun controllers are a freaking out. Now, they're putting on a strong face and saying, we're going to pass all the assault weapons ban in the land, and 10 states have done so. They're flexing in response to this decision. They're showing you right here in black and white that they are terrified of a lot of things that are going on. Yes, they may be flexing at the legislative level, which wouldn't change because of Bruin. However, the judicial is running amok on their faces of gun control. That's really important to understand. In fact... They're about in this article to say that the Gun Control Act of 1968 is on the chopping block. I know. Hold on. Let's get to that. The lack of similar, similar regulations from those time periods indicates that, quote, founders considered age-based regulations on the purchase of firearms to circumscribe the right to keep and bear arms confirmed by the Second Amendment, he wrote. Yeah, they're adults. This, here we go. This is a quote. If you hear nothing else, hear this. The case is challenging the constitutionality of the Gun Control Act of 1968 and the associated regulations from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. Gun Control Act of 1968 is a mainstay of gun control. And correlating ATF actions? This is like a perfect Sunday. This is like an ice cream sundae. The whipped cream is right there. 
We're getting to it. Gun control groups had urged the court to uphold the age restrictions, arguing they are constitutional even under the Supreme Court's Bruin ruling. No, they're not. They say Payne's rulings will put lives at risk, pointing to scientific literature that shows the brain continues to develop in the early 20s and that 18 to 20 year olds are more impulsive than other adults. If that's the argument, why do we let them vote? Why do we let them go to the military? Why do we let them do anything? If the argument is they're just too impulsive, 18 to early 20s, it's just, it's not responsible. Then why can't they vote? If they can't have their Second Amendment rights, why can't they have their First Amendment rights? Why are these different? They're not different. This is where it falls apart because they are discriminating against an individual, a group of individuals, just because they don't like the right, not because they're 18 to 20, because it's perfectly fine with every other right. Let's continue because that is one of the dumbest ever. And here's the last quote I'll leave you with. There is a long established historical pedigree for recognizing the risk posed by certain subsets of armed individuals. The Giffords Law Center to Prevent Gun Violence and another gun control group, Brady, wrote in its filings. By the way, have you noticed the little pattern that Giffords and Brady and Every Time for US or for Gun Safety are consistently arguing the points of the defense of the United States, the DOJ? Have you noticed that? Seems kind of incestuous and a little bit fascistic, doesn't it? Anyway, let's keep going. Likewise, Congress has identified that armed 18 to 20 year olds pose a greater risk to the community than does the rest of the population and accordingly has restricted 18 to 20 year olds ability to purchase handguns. Their entire argument here is not based on constitutionality and rights of the individual. It's not about the rights that they have versus any other thing. It is literally, eh, they've been proven to be more impulsive and Congress said they were more impulsive in the 1968 Gun Control Act and the ATF has done a lot of things. And you know, really they shouldn't have those rights. That's their entire argument. Legislation is a tumbling. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.